time even in the initials or shortened forms. Okay. Now second one is exclamation mark. How to use exclamation mark? Where to use exclamation mark? Okay. Exclamation mark is used at the end of one or more words. See here. Really exclamation mark. Yes, this is the exclamatory mark. Okay. Or a sentence is said with some feeling. Exclamatory words, exclamatory sentences are those which show some sort of feelings for us. How, what, where and when the event has been happened. For example, any sad feeling or any happy movement is all with the exclamatory mark. Okay. Exclamation in the sense having some sudden feeling. Okay. So let us see the examples. My goodness. When you get a shock. When you get something horrible to see. Okay. What you are words will come from your mouth. Suddenly they are not planned words. That words we are calling as exclamatory or exclamation okay so my goodness ends with exclamatory mark what a lovely flower when you are happy and when you see something beautiful you will praise it right then also you can use the exclamatory mark really really in the sense you are giving a sudden reaction Sudden feeling. Okay. Sudden expression. That concludes with exclamatory mark. Exclamation marks comes whenever you are happy or whenever you are sad. And you are telling some words, you are telling some statements without any plan. Those are called as exclamatory sentences, exclamatory words, which ends with exclamation mark. Okay. For example, if you want the match, football match, volleyball match, a cricket match. Hurrah! We won the match. You will say, right? Same. If you hear the, a sad news. Okay. Alas, he had died. Yes. Alas, you are showing your sad feeling. Hurrah! You are showing your happy feeling. Right? These words comes under the exclamatory sentences and words which ends with exclamation mark. Now coming to the question mark. Okay, question mark. Use at the end of the sentence that ask direct question. Question marks, we all know that we are using question marks here. We are using questions in our daily life. Yes, the question or the word which asked, which is asked directly to you, that ends with the question mark. Okay? Question mark is used always with the statements or words which ask directly a question. For example, does your sister play tennis? Question mark. We all know that there are WH words and there are question tags also which we can use in our Question marks. Let us see them. These are the WH words. What, where, when, why, whom, whose, who, how. Yes, in front of these words also we are using question marks. When they come in the sentence, we are using question marks for them. Right, my dear students? Now, coming to the question tags. Is it, isn't it, these all are positive, these all are negative. When these question tags also appears in the statements, we are using question mark. Is it? Was it? Were it? Are it? Are you? Has it? Have it? Will it? Yes? This is negative part. Isn't it? Wasn't it? Weren't it? Aren't it? Hasn't it? Haven't it? Won't it? Yes? These all are the sentences or these all are the WH words and question tags which we are using 
for the question marks. Okay. Now coming to the fourth one that is comma. Okay. When to use comma? Comma is used to separate items in a series. When we are mentioning two three items in particular series, we have to mention comma after each items. For example, we grow apples, pears, peaches, plums, and apricots. Okay, these are all are so many items, right? We are growing them, right? So we are using after every item a comma here. Yes, apples, comma, pears, comma, peaches, comma, plums, comma, apricots. Okay. When we are ending, we have to full stop. Okay. Before that, we have to use all the ways comma. I am eating rice dal. Rice comma dal. While you are writing in your language. Okay. Next, use it to separate adjectives. of equal value when we are giving a value to any of the item with different different words then we have to use the comma see here in the example he chose the largest most expensive and prettiest diamond diamond is an item okay which is very precious when we are appreciating the diamond by telling largest expensive prettiest we have to use comma yes we are showing the quality of the diamond by saying largest by saying most expensive by saying the prettiest yes when we are showing these qualities of the particular item we have to use the commas okay now use it to separate a quotation from the rest of the sentence for example if somebody said something we have to inform that to the third person right then we have to use comma for example see here the teacher said comma hard work is a key to success this is a quotation right this is a quotation hard work is key to success who said it? the teacher said so we are using here comma the teacher said comma okay we have to improve comma remark to the teacher yes it is another example you have to improve teachers will say that right every time teachers will say that so remark to the teacher the teacher remark it. that he has to improve he or she has to improve okay when we are telling like mahatma gandhi abdul kalam yes when we are remarking the famous personalities when we are mentioning them they said this they said this we have to put a comma okay So we when we are using 
or when we are showing the ownership or possession which belongs to something then we are using apostrophe okay next use it to show the letters or numbers have been left out which have been left out the numbers the words or the letters for example isn't okay isn't in the sense shows is not o is left out but we are using apostrophe at the place of o we are using apostrophe to show that o is left out here okay i the two words have become a single word is it yes have not or haven't have not again o is left out here so we are using apostrophe here okay it is it's or it is okay i is left out here so we are using it's or it is apostrophe here okay here two numbers are left out 1995 we are used here apostrophe okay 1995 in the sense this mean 1995 because the two numbers have been left out from the full word when we are leaving some words letters or some numbers to make it shorten so we will use the apostrophe okay next use it to write the plurals of numbers and letters of the alphabet when we are using to show the plural form we are using apostrophe there are two eights in 838 there are two eights in 838 right when we are showing the plurals of the numbers we are using a first of it there are three zeros in zoologist 1 2 3 3 zeros in zoologist right this is how we will use a first of it in the gram okay yes now coming to the quotation mark yes you can see here these are quotation marks okay between them something is written they are also called as quotes okay in short they are called as quotes or quotation mark use it to enclose spoken words when we are using them we are using them when particular dialogue is said or particular thing is somebody has said it and we are repeating it okay we are using them to enclose the spoken words directly okay single quotation marks are used for quotation within the quotations for example mary said i must hurry to catch the bus yes mary said what she said i must hurry to catch the bus these are the quotation she said this dialogue she said i must hurry to catch the bus she said that dialogue okay we are mentioning that somebody has said it so when the spoken words are said they are put into the quotes or quotation marks he said my teacher says work hard so i do see here single quotation when we are using already the sentence is in the quotation mark see this sentence is already in the quotation mark and again we are using work hard we are stressing on something we are stressing on some words which means a lot in the statements so those words are put in single quotation marks okay this is the class of punctuations okay the exercise part i will make it another video for you so please wait for it thank you learn something new every day with vc academy